Hello crafty cuties! Welcome back! Today we are going to be making some a pen pal kit together. I am pulling out this pen pal pocket, I guess we could call it, or kit. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make this and the little packaging that I just pulled it out of using book pages. We're using very simple supplies, so this is really inexpensive to make and you can put whatever you want in these. We're just using some plain white envelopes, some flat bags, I'm just using these craft bags, and some scrapbook paper, and then anything else that you want to decorate it. So uh, my envelopes are around three and a half by about six and a half or so inches. <laughs> and sorry, my nails guys, I have tried filming this and not to mention I've tried doing this voiceover many, many times and it's just so hard. So anyways, I'm going to start out using three envelopes and I'm just gluing the flap closed because essentially we're just using the envelope just to create the most simple, easiest um, pocket. And so I'm going to glue all of those shut. Then we're gonna go ahead and trim down these three envelopes. On the first one, you're gonna trim off one inch and I'm using my Tim Holtz trimmer, which I really like for smaller things that I need to trim. Um, and I, ac I, yeah, I accidentally lost the protective uh, piece that was on mine so that you don't like chop your fingers off. <laughs> on the second one, you're gonna um, cut off two inches. And then on the third, you're gonna cut off three inches. Now go ahead and save the pieces that you cut off because you can essentially use those for pockets and other projects or these this project as well. So hold on to those guys. Okay, and then we're going to take the three that we trimmed and you can see we're just going to stack them on top of one another. Make sure your flap is on like the back side. Um, I mean, you're covering it with scrapbook paper so it doesn't really matter, but I, I made sure that mine was on the back. So go ahead and pick out some colors that you want, maybe something that you think your pen pal will like. And I'm just using this paper pad that I've had for a really long time. I know it came from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I'm just gonna trim some papers down to fit on top of my envelopes. Like I said, this is just such an easy, simple project, but it just looks so much more detailed once you have it filled with some goodies. And in part two of this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of things that I like to send in my pen pal kits that are flat, because if you guys know, sending flat mail is going to cut the cost down on shipping quite a bit. And so that's why I made this little pocket, um, pen pal pocket just because it fits a handful of flat items relatively well and it just looks really cute and then your pen pal can actually use it when they are all done receiving the goodies out of it okay so I'm just like I said I cut down my papers and I'm just going to cover mostly the top of the envelope um, where it is not covered up by the next envelope and then on the very top envelope, I will go ahead and have a um, piece that covers the entire part of the envelope. And we are going to add a little bit of um, decoration and some embellishments to the top, but I wanted to make sure that everything was mostly non-dimensional because again, I'm trying to go for kind of a flat package theme here. And I'm also adding some scrapbook paper to the craft, but I am leaving the craft paper showing because I personally like that. Um, you can do whatever you like and you can get super, you can get super detailed with this and um, do a ton more to it. So this might be a base idea for you to kind of spark some ideas and that is perfectly fine. Now I am actually making eight of these. So I had a lot of work cut out for me, but at the same time, this is a quick project. I just have a little baby girl who takes literally all of my time and then I ended up getting sick in the middle of this. <laughs> um, a lot of people ask me to how or where to find pen pals um, real quick. I'm going to take some Distress Oxide ink and I am inking up the edges here, but I'll get back into my story in just a sec here. Um, and so I'm just gonna ink up, yeah, all of the edges just to add a little bit more. 
Okay, so yes, I um I usually find pen pals. You can look on Facebook under pen pal groups or go on Instagram and search the hashtag pen pals wanted. Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, I'm sending these two giveaway winners though. So now I'm taking my little circle punch and I'm just creating a little notch. Of course, this is optional, but I did like how that looked. Now we are going to just go ahead and glue these on top of one another. So if you wanted, you could just glue like around two of the edges and you could keep one of the edges open, if that makes sense, so that you could have even more pockets, like maybe pockets on the side too. But these envelopes don't really hold like a ton. And I think that if you overstuffed it, things might come apart. And so I didn't do that. As you can see, I just glue on the entire envelope. Also a quick story to share with you guys, my baby, actually got locked in my car the day that I was filming this later in the day and that was terrifying um she got locked in the door my keyless entry like malfunctioned however it my keys were like locked in the car all four of my doors were unlocked but as soon as I shut my door they all locked I have learned my lesson to always have my keys in my hands but that should not have happened but anyways yeah, my little baby was locked in the car and it was a pretty darn warm day. It was definitely hot in my car. Oh my goodness. So had to call 911 and have the firemen come out because the locksmith was just too far away. There was no way I was waiting that long and they were so nice. I'm actually going to do like a whole story time on my vlog and talk about the details and all that. Anyways. All right, so now we are going to decorate the little front pocket here, and this is not really necessary. I think it looks really pretty without. I just wanted to add a little bit more. Um, so I'm just using some labels and some floral stickers. I am winding some thread kind of around my fingers just to get a little cluster of thread because I like that look. But go ahead and decorate it however you think your pen pal will like or however you like. And I just did kind of the same thing for all of my pen pal pockets. Now, like I said, I ended up creating eight of these. And at the end of the video, I'll show you each one um, so that maybe you can get some ideas for how you might want to decorate your own. And I'm just using some little Tim Holtz word labels as well, just to add a little finishing touch to the front of mine. This could be so fun if you knew your pen pal was into certain themes. Maybe they like unicorns. Maybe they like a more vintage style. Um, you could totally go with whatever you think that they would like. And this would even make a really cute pocket to put inside a junk journal. Um, if they're into junk journals or maybe they're into some other type of craft. But I do also want to mention that in the second video when I go over the different ideas that I'm going to give you to fill this up, um, a lot of times people get a little overwhelmed with what they should be sending to pen pals. And I just want to throw it out there that if you're doing a pen pal trade or situation, like... I don't really think it should ever be about, oh, let's try to send the most and the best. I think it should just be something that comes from the heart. And so same with this project. Just decorate it, you know, put put your heart into it. <laughs> I don't know. Just a little thing I was thinking because I remember when I was doing pocket letters and after a while, they, it became kind of more a materialistic project. A lot of people were like pretty demanding about how much they wanted and were expecting in swaps. And I just don't really think that's the point of having a pen pal. So I don't want anyone to be overwhelmed. So anyways, back to the project. So you can see here I'm putting it in this little envelope. And isn't this cute? Well, we're going to learn how to make it next. So I made this one out of some book pages. Now your book pages do need to be a little bit bigger than your pen pal pocket, okay? So depending on what size you made it, you need book pages that are going to be a little bit bigger than it. Now think outside the lines. You can use um, dictionary pages, encyclopedia pages, or map pages. I'm going to show you two different ways. So this way is using two single pages, I am not super precise, so you guys, this is how I am measuring. I'm taking my project, putting it in the middle of the page, and I'm going to fold all four sides kind of up around my project. I'm leaving a little bit of room because I, I know I'm going to add a couple more things into my packages, so keep that in mind. 
And then we're just going to kind of trim this page up. So you want to go ahead and cut uh, the bottom two corners and I'm cutting out a diagonal if you see uh, I hope you can kind of get the idea I'm just cutting like a diagonal up to the fold mark there on both sides it doesn't really have to be precise but I'm doing the same thing to the top here and then we are going to take our second page in just a moment here so then I kind of fold these back down. And so hopefully you can kind of see by doing this, it's adding a little bit of space in here so that it's not gonna like come apart when we actually add dimensional things to it. But now I'm taking that second page and I'm literally tracing around it so that I know how big my um, first page was folded down to be. And I'm just going to simply cut around. Now, you might want to use a pencil or whatever, um, so you can erase the marks if you want, but I, I didn't really mind too much because this is just the packaging. Like, this is literally the envelope I'm going to send it in. So now you're going to add a little bit of glue to fold up that bottom flap. That's going to be the bottom of the envelope. And then you do want to make sure to add or to use a good quality glue that you trust. You could use double-sided tape too if you trust it. Um, and go ahead and glue around the three um, sides that I am doing here. Do not add glue to the top flap there, okay? Um, now, if you're using a glue and you're not too sure about it, you can end up using like a packaging tape and going around the entire um, envelope when you're done just to be safe because it is going through the mail. But I trust this glue. I know it's not going to um, break down. And you could also use a sewing machine, but I'm trying to keep this simple for you guys. So see, then I just add my second page right on top. And then you just have a really quick, this was so quick, simple envelope. And this is going to be perfect for my little pin pal pocket. And again, in the second video, you're going to see me package these all up and you'll see what it looks like when we're all done. So here, I'm just showing you the packaging tape because even if your pages maybe are a more fragile page, um, you could use packaging tape just to make sure nothing's going to get torn. Now I'm using just a little label that I had um, because as you can see, this page is pretty busy. And so I'm going to need a space because you do want to make sure that the post office can clearly see your address. So make sure to add some type of a label or you could even cut out some paper. Here's just one more idea how to do the, almost the same exact thing. Um, but I'm using a large atlas page. And because it's so large, I'm not, I don't have two pages this time. I just have one and I folded it over. And this, this uh, method is just so much quicker and easier. And so since it's folded over, you just need to glue the bottom and then up the side. Now this one isn't really going to allow for like a ton of dimension since we didn't fold anything over but um, these pages are a little bit more flexible if that makes sense and I also gave myself a little bit more room. Now I did want to create a flap on top. You don't have to. You could just glue the top once you have your stuff in it but I'm going to fold that down just a bit. Again I'm not, um, I'm not measuring. So once I fold it down I'm going to cut off the front flap because we don't need that and then I'm going to angle that flap on both sides and that's just kind of more for looks and then that will be our top flap and then you want to make sure that your glue is completely dry before you fill these up okay but I think um, using a sewing machine would be really great you could use staples but again with this um, I would possibly use some packaging tape once I'm done filling it up and just tape kind of all around it because you want to make sure that these you know go through the mail and don't open up but this is just an easy way to use book pages to create your own envelopes because shipping packaging can really add up especially when you have a lot of pen pals so use the things that you have at home and you could use scrapbook paper for that same idea that i just showed you so these are my finalized pen pal kits pen pal pockets i really don't know what to call them I did some of them a little bit more vintage theme, some a little more botanical theme, and some a little bit more, I guess, uh, contemporary? I don't know. <laughs> um, 
but I really like how they turned out. I am so excited to show you the items that I filled them with and how I packaged those up. I'm going to go over how I packaged them as well. It did take me over a week longer to send all of this out because uh, our week was just so crazy and I am just, <laughs> it's, life is just busy crazy, but guys, I am just in love with my little girl so much and I wouldn't change it for the world. She is my life, but I'm so glad that I can kind of squeeze in videos at least once a week for you guys. So here, are the, these are just the finalized envelopes, and I really like how the atlases turned out, the atlas um, envelopes. And you can get an atlas at a library, uh, sorry, at a Goodwill, real, relatively cheap. So I will see you guys in the next video. Be on the lookout. Bye.